Mount Smart Stadium all set for International Rugby League in 2018. It's New Zealand versus Australia. The Kiwis against the Kangaroos. The first time these two teams have met since May last year. The first time in 12 years these two teams have met on this ground. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome to the call here on Sky Sport. Glenn Lama, Daryl Halligan alongside me. We'll have Justin Morgan, mighty beat them sideline. Daryl, much different look to both teams from last year's World Cup. And for you, does that mean it's all about settling, getting those combinations sorted out in training? I think both these teams will need to hit the ground running here tonight. There won't be too much time to somewhat settle in. As per on tour, it's a beautiful evening here at Mount Smart tonight. Glenn, absolutely perfect conditions. And I'm liking the feel and the look in this Kiwi side. So happy to have big Jesse Bromwich back up front to lay a platform. And even Kevin Pockter, right edge back rower, back oh. in the fold as well. They've got a lot to prove, haven't they? As Manu and Smith on debut tonight for the Kiwis. few Australians have made the trip over here to Mount Smart. Very good conditions for this game. We we're expecting a lot of rain through the day, but thankfully we've not had any disruption on that front today. That wind coming from the south, a bit chilly. Get to Justin Morgan to clarify those match conditions in just a moment. Well, the Australians have got four debutants in their team. James Tedesco, Latrell Mitchell, Luke Carey. Damien Cook, and here comes Boyd Corner. That is the captain that's run through their team. Tedesco, Holmes, and Gungai. Tom Trebojevic in its centre. Interesting decision, that one. Latrell Mitchell with him. Kerry on debut. Cherry Evans back in the team for the first time in four years. And up front, it's Clemmer, Cook, and McLean. With Hunt, Trebojevic, Frizzell, and Woods on the bench. Chocobot full of talent, aren't they? That man on screen there, Luke Kerry, of course, won a grand final at South Sydney before joining the Roosters two seasons ago, and Clive Churchill medalist just two weeks ago. One of two players in this kangaroo side that haven't actually played origin football. The other one on the screen there is Jordan McLean. Big moment for Dallin Watani Zalesniak. Leads the Kiwis on to Mount Smart. Made his debut back in 2016. He's only in his eighth test. The 23-year-old gets the captaincy of the Kiwis. So much to like about this young man from the Waikato, Dallin Watane, Zelezniak, a proud heritage with his grandfather also, Joseph Manu from Toparoa, the grand final winner this year, made his NRL debut in 2016, just playing 16 games that year. And this man on screen there, Brandon Smith, Isaac Liu, one of the workers of the Roosters grand final pack, proud Odahu man who made his debut in 2013 with the Roosters. There's a key figure off the bench too, Marty Tafau, one of the leading offloaders in the competition. We stand by for the national anthems. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be outstanding for the singing of the Australian and New Zealand national anthems? To sing the national anthem of Australia, Rebecca Nelson.
and to sing the national anthem of New Zealand, Moses Mackay. Standing by now for the Haka, Brandon Smith. The look on his face during that anthem. Couldn't help too, Daryl Fink, but Kevin Proctor had the look on his face. Was I ever going to hear this national, national anthem or sing the national anthem at a rugby league international again after what happened to him last year? Well, he's back. And now we await the Haka. get you all pumped up for this game nothing will that's pretty impressive now onto the footy component of this match here I'm so looking forward to the involvement of big marty to pal he enters the field and gets his first in so look out around the 20 minute mark of the first half of the first break leads all these players in offloads this year 71 we really want to see the player someone like cody nikarima hang around them Players drop back into a little warm-up, focus themselves back on their skills. A couple of touches with the football. Aaron Woods, of course. Wow, what a year he had. Former Tiger. Played 15 games for the Bulldogs before being traded to the Cronulla Sharks, where he played 12 games and went deep into the final series. Now finds himself back in an Australian jersey. Yes, Isaac Liu debuted at the World Cup last year. Runs out for his fourth test. 
26 games for the Roosters this year. Six starts in the second row, but mainly featured at lock. He's playing on the edge in this game. Others get a mention, but he does the work in that forward pack. Of course, Jared Hargraves oh, there as well. Siwa right. Takiaho, you'll get to see him next weekend as well. Played six tests also for Samoa. Oh, Isaac Liu. Rapa the back after missing the Denver test. He had a hamstring injury. Saw his dad in the crowd and had a chat to him earlier today. The crowd. And this a lot of the fans here, here to support. Daryl Sean Johnson. Always oh, on him. How's that partnership with Cody Nakarima going to go in this match? Throw into the equation the service from Brandon Smith and then Kenny Bromwich when he gets onto the football field as well. Luke. Stay behind, guys, not early. You guys right, Beeson? Oh, we're all set for the latest chapter. Stay behind, guys. In the rich history of the Kiwis versus the Kangaroos in International Rugby League here at Mount Smart in 2018. It's going to be the Kiwis to kick off. It's going to be the world champions. Have the first possession. Clemmer brings it back to the 20. Kangaroos. Mark straight. Hold. Go. That's fine. Cook gets his hands on the ball. Now Jordan McLean. From the North Queensland Cowboys in his seventh test match for Australia. It's in the curiosity of rep football. He's yet to play State of Origin. Corner, the Australian captain. This is Josh McGuire from the Broncos. Met heavily from Jared Wairia Hargreaves, who I'm sure will be very keen to stamp his impression on this game early. Cook kicks on the fifth tackle. And Dallin Watani Zalesniak near that left touch. Malmalo got back in excellent support there, and he was in good position to take the infield pass. Good set from the Australians. Cook, the first kick of the game. That'll set him down a bit. I thought Dally Cherry Evans will do most of the kicking in this Australian side, even though we saw Kerry do most of the kicking in the grand final. The Karima at dummy half for that play. Malmalo with his second carry, met strongly there by Tom Trevojevic. He's playing at right centre in this game. Interesting selectorial decision there made by Mel Meninga during the week as Wairia Hargreaves handles. 15 metres from halfway. Brandon Smith to Jesse Bromwich back in the Kiwis lineup since May last year. First time we've seen him. Just manages to hold on to the ball there. Does Bromwich and Johnson settles it down. Good tidy set there from the Kiwis. And back comes Tedesco on debut for the Kangaroos. He's quick, isn't he? He's run more metres this year than any other player on the football field. Some 4,300 metres. In fact, five in the Australian team have run over three kilometres this year. Gangai plays the ball. Late replacement, of course, for Greg Inglis. He was to be captain. Then had that responsibility stripped off him. Cal Fusi from the Melbourne Storm plays it. 40 metres out from the Kiwis line. Good roll on here for the Australians. As Cook handles it, dummy half. Maguire. Cordner has to Desco. Big space here for Mitchell. This could be a try. Should be a try, and it is. Valentine Holmes gets over for an early score. It's four to nothing. Five, Disappointing. Five they stripped them for numbers here. Australians left. New Zealand's right edge. And Val Holmes. 22 tries for Cronulla this year. He scored more tries for Australia than he's had tests. I think that's his 12th. 12th test, 15th try. Let's have a look. Out they go. They just hold back a bit, Jordan Rapana. And then it's all too easy. Latrell Mitchell weighs up his options. Val's on the outside. Too easy a start there. He's a bit of a try-scoring freak, Valentine Holmes. His 12th Test match, 15th try already. Scored a bucket load at the World Cup last year, didn't he? Wonderful start to the Australians here. Justin Morgan, good evening. Good evening. I was hoping to give you a weather update before we started <laughs> to look at tries. But, yeah, good work there from the Australians. A dawning of a new era for both teams. Two new captains, a number of debutants. Very unusual to see a Kangaroos team without a Cameron Smith. So, But they've settled their nerves very quickly and scored a nice try on that left side. I really like the look of this Kiwis bench. Lots of power and lots of skill with Bromwich, Armour, Tapao and Blair. But an ideal start there for the Kangaroos on that left side. We wondered who the goal-kicking responsibilities might go to. It might yeah, be Latrell fun. Mitchell. But, uh, here oh, is boys. Valentine Holmes lining it up to try and convert his own try. Come on. 
76% was his goal-kicking percentage in the NRL season. It's actually inferior just to Latrell Mitchell, who is 77%. He took over the goal-kicking duties late in the season, pretty much through origin with Queensland, and then surpassed Chad Townsend, who started at Cronulla. It's Malcolm McGuire and Nathan Kalis, not the start they were after. Well, they opened them up big time, didn't they, as Australia lead early in this match, six points to nil. Just a quick update on the conditions. It's very cool down here, but it's a little bit of breeze behind the Australian Kangaroos. It's quite gusty, but it has been blowing from the south all evening, so the Kangaroos will have the advantage of the wind in the first half. Clemmer hit strongly by Proctor. Also by Manu. Really looking to that matchup between Manu and Mitchell. Clever. A couple of carries from him. Good pace to the game as Mitchell. Right on the 30. They're looking to slow the play. The ball down there is Brandon Smith. He's a real pocket rocket. Easily the biggest game of Brandon Smith's career right now as McLean has met strongly there. A good solid defence coming in from Fisher Harris for the Kiwis. Maguire. That uh, defensive line, oh, big yards on the line of the ruck, yeah, not good there for New Zealand at the moment. Cherry Evans. Pedaling nicely there is Manu, who is back to Rapana, and now Watane Zalesniak running across field. This is Masters. Score on debut for the Kiwis back in the Denver Test against England. Here's Mal Malo hitting the line strongly. Wonderful season for Ken Malmalo. Thoroughly deserves his opportunity in this Kiwis jumper as Rapana. Tries to sneak under the defensive line there of Kalfusi. Bromwich handles. A strong defence coming in from Luke Kerry there and also Boyd Cordner. It was on James Fisher Harris. Wairia Hargreaves. Isn't he good at the end of the season for the Roosters? Can he replicate it here for New Zealand? Last play is Johnson. Wearing six on his back in this game, of course, as Holmes waits for this one. Holds up in the breeze and quite nicely for Valentine Holmes there. So important just to get one quick play the ball in the set of six to build the momentum of and actually change your attacking structure. All the play the ball so far for the Kiwis has been one paced. Tedesco. Running onto that one beautifully was Dane Gagai. Stopped in his tracks. Solidly there by Wairia Hargreaves and Brandon Smith. Right knee heavily strapped. But Brandon Smith on debut here for New Zealand. Clever it is again. Two tackles left in the set. Maguire, they're going to run it on the fifth here. Out of the left again. Mitchell in space. Mitchell. Oh, he's all powerful. That's gone forward hand. off Luke Kerry. Okay, but the gone. danger that Latrell Mitchell possesses on full display again. This right edge for the Kiwis is going backwards in Australia. They were just spoiled for options here. Tedesco sums so it up guys, nicely. He catches Joey Manu just a little bit in field. Rapana didn't go with him. And then there's Please one, two, three, here, four waiting for the ball on the inside. Kerry gets a hand to it. Tom Trevojevic. Who's playing at right centre? Right over on the left James side. Just hold there, Luke. Well, James Two Tedesco in the lead up to this game. In the media this week mentioned there's always Out. been a little bit of niggle in between Manu and that Mitchell at training. They like to have a little bit of edge to their training. Well, there's no contest. He's winning that little battle at the moment. Is Fisher Harris hits the line strongly. Trebojevic. Keep our eyes on him. He's wearing three in this game. Usually on the wing or most preferably at fullback. Bromwich. Good post meters. This contact meter is made there by Bromwich as he's up towards the halfway line. Smith. Nikarima. Here's Isaac Liu. He's looking to get a bit more urgency with their ball handling here as Nikarima uses Johnson again. This is Fisher Harris. Ball handling and passing this time from the Kiwis in the set. But they're on the last. Johnson runs. Tedesco, good hands from him, but Manu 
Makes the tackle. Not a bad sit there, though, from New Zealand. Yeah, so only they're working their way down into the right end of the football field. This time their last play option was just 20 metres out from the line. Here comes the cavalry. This is better. Looking for some offensive defence. And again, good solid connection there. Dane Gagai it was. McLean, he's a big man, Jordan McLean. 118 kilos, North Queensland muscle. Oh, McLean. Well, they've trapped the Aussies inside their 30. Could play the ball and they're away again. Beautiful ball, Helling. Oh, Mitchell, but the pass is forward. Gee, they got out of jail there, the Kiwis. They come down a little short side. Really clever play from Tedesco oh, here. To play the ball. And the tackle. ball just drifts forward. They're a threat, aren't they? Val Holmes having a field day. Tedesco here, watching Latrell and then inside to Holmes. Grasping tackle there from Fisher Harris, which Hold actually in. misses the mark, Ten but puts in. enough pressure ball. on Val to Ten get it wrong. Days. Otherwise, it would Hold shut it. the gate. Back here, Latrell Mitchell. Control. Oh, there's no substitute for speed, is there? Tedesco, really fast over the advantage line. Let's go! Very good with Latrell Mitchell, and obviously oh, Valentine Rhodes is a speedster as well. So expect plenty more traffic down this right edge of the Kiwis. Surrender! Stand now! Go! That's one. Smith it is. What it is, Alesniak says! See you later to Maguire! What I love about Dallin Watson is Alesniak. Now Smith runs from dummy half. Passes to his storm teammate, Bromwich. Get up for his David! More field position now oh, for the yeah. Kiwis. Valentine Holmes scored the try after two minutes, remember, for Australia as the Karima gives it to Johnson. Here's Rafana. Manu collects it. Manu settles it down 15 metres out, two tackles left in the set. Rapana. Johnson. Here's Wairia Hargreaves, but Kalfusi lines him up. Those two did battle in the grand final a couple of weeks ago. Smith. Here's Johnson, kicks for Proctor, just impeded a little bit there, but it's going to be a, a line dropout. Second time Sean Johnson comes to the this line down this right end, the edge, he gets his kick right. The first one bounced out. up nicely for Tedesco. Damien. Now Damien. the chance to apply a little bit right. more Damien. pressure with a repeat set of six. Let's have a look at Dallin, goes straight over the top of Josh Maguire. Yeah, yeah. Somewhat a speed bump, wasn't it? Stay behind. And then beautiful work, sums it up. He's so gifted, Sean Johnson. Kicks late at the Stay line. Stay guys! Good last couple of sets there to the Kiwis. Let's go. Stay behind. Mitchell's given that a big thump. Plenty of height, too, didn't he? Here's Bromwich. Oh, the line how he and Kevin Proctor really make a statement in this game. Smith. Here's why Rhea Hargreaves again. In fact, it's Fisher Harris. Okay, Good depth on the bench, too, to Almata Pau. Here's Johnson again. Now it's Wairia Hargreaves. Cut down beautifully there by Maguire. Oh, yeah. okay, three. Johnson. Right. Bromwich again, standing a bit wider of the ruck this time. And look at the metres. Gobbled up there by Bromwich. That was just classic. Run there from Jesse Bromwich. Smith. They're off their line very quickly there, Australia. Climb the referee. Didn't blow his whistle though as Liu plays it. On the last play, Johnson again. Here comes Watanese and it's hit Nikarima in fact. Nikarima has been forced again by Tedesco. He couldn't let that one roll, I reckon. Nice variation in the halves here. Sean Johnson and Cody Nikarima interchanging. First and second receivers. Most of the play has been directed at this right here, as we've seen the last three. Times the last play attack has come to the right. This time it's Johnson to Nikarima, and it's his turn to find an option, and that option is still the kick in behind. I'd love to see them chance their arm down the left or possibly something back through the middle the next time they get an opportunity. Good pace to the Kiwis attack in these last two to three sets. But they haven't turned it into points. Time it's Jared hitting the line. Up to get it, Over here. Got one. He's enjoying a nice territorial advantage as Fisher Harris again. James Fisher Harris in his third test. 
they do it against Scotland in that draw. Infamous draw back in 2016. Johnson, this is Proctor. And Proctor enjoying his 18th appearance for his country in this game. Smith again. Johnson used. Short pass this time, Liu. The timing not quite there though, but it's still. Liu makes a, the best out of a slightly imperfect situation, and there's the first penalty of the game for New Zealand. Yes, yeah, so he's got Australia all offside on the right edge there. It's the edge of Tom Travojevic. They're going to take the two, aren't they? The they were nodding towards the post, but they're not going to take the two. and Cook making the tackle. The Aussie defence really under the pump at the moment. Manu using that big body. He gets close. Johnson. Back to Smith. Wairia Hargreaves. Midway through the set. Smith again, he's been good so far. Nikarima back inside to Fisher Harris, but the defence came up nicely on the inside. Now, has that come off Kerry for a knock on? Yeah, it is. Good call, Glenn. Second Move an opportunity there. Just Perth on the come back on the inside. Oh, and Brandon Smith, I thought he might have been able to shift it early. But he took the ball right. to a player and then shifted it around the back. Okay. Let's have a look at the replay if we get one. Here, Nikarima steps, and then it's Fisher Harris in Let's there. Go, I thought if Brandon right Smith now. moved it straight away, Second it would have hit Hargroves. What here. the Kangaroos are doing really well at the moment is peeling out of that tackle and, and getting their line shot. set so it's so making again, the Kiwi team turn the ball back on the inside. So the Kiwis need to down. leave some players on the ground Stay to get down, some Josh. ruck speed, and they might get, get a few more line breaks. Feet down, Josh. <laughs> Out. Oh, short pass, short pass, Rapana. Oh, no. Flat pass too, wasn't it, Rapana? Now Smith, what's happened there? There's another penalty now. Is that a professional foul? This is really oh. close. Tom Travojevic was way, way offside. He was nearly standing in the Kiwi back line. Just in line here, Dallin. What are you doing, mate? Tap. Oh, there's no thought of a Simbin. Go. Well, the Kiwis are going to hammer away again. Surrender! Oh, stand now! Go, one, that's okay. Go up that's inside. Here's Johnson again to Proctor. Do it down now! And someone's injured. Here he looks like he's been knocked out stone cold. There's some concern immediately for him. Yeah, he didn't move. Kevin Proctor steps from right to left. We've got a funny feeling. He gets himself in a pretty awkward position, Luke Carey. He might have copped a glancing blow. So much possession for the Kiwis in this end of the football field. No points as of yet. Those two penalties, Mike and Town, possibly another one for Australia, and they may be in trouble. So I guess this will for an HIA and Ben Hunt will come onto the football field and jump straight into his role. Let's have a look here. They shift out to Johnson who will shift it to KP. Kevin Proctor, nice footwork there. Look, and he just gets himself all twisted and leads with his head. Cops two knees. Very wonderful season for the Roosters. Time on the field, he being ending at the 17th minute mark. Ben Hunt is going to come on. Ben Hunt coming on for his fifth appearance for Australia. All of them from the interchange. See the work of Kevin Proctor at right edge here. He means business, Proctor. School of thought, some thought Joseph Tarpany might have schooled up that position, but welcome back to KP. Michael Maguire, who you're on the week, mentioned Tarpany on quite right after that broken thumb. Gee, where's Johnson almost dropped it, but 
Almost as good enough. Possession to continue. Two tackles, three tackles left in this set. Wairi Hargreaves to Nikarima. This is looking better. Watanese well, is in. Mamolo has Ken scored in the corner. Well, we're going to go upstairs. But boy, hasn't okay. this guy Ken Mamalo become a crowd favourite here in Mount we have Smart? No try. Okay, confirm that the ball is grounded on a touching goal line. Confirm where he jumps from. Be interesting to see why he's called no try. He's put it on the line. Kim Mamolo grounds the ball on the touching goal line. We have a decision. Oh, that's tough luck, isn't it? I thought they'd messed the play up a little bit. It was Is Isaac Liu who didn't really know where the block run was. His confirmation of no try. I was all right with that, yeah. Surely we could have gone to the replay screen to see where the first part of the football touched the green. But anyway, this is where Isaac Liu runs out. And then it's a good skip pass from Dallin Watanez yeah, Zelezniak to Mamalo. Stay on the line. And again, he's becoming on more and more top. athletic. I don't think he would have put himself in that position two hey, years ago. can't come there and balk it. Let's just play the ball there. Stay right. on side till he taps it. Australia hang on after okay, that let's go. long go. period of attack from the Kiwis. Right, New Zealand come up empty. Okay, the last defensive set for the Kiwis was their best one so far in this match. This one needs to match Ruiz it as well. Let's wait. Go. Right. 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 Up there as well, yes. This is where Australia can really make you pay. Come off a defensive stint and bounce back with a try immediately. Stacking off against Australia. They'll make you pay as Cook swings it out to Cherry Evans. Cherry Evans throws a dummy this time. He's 10, Jared. No, David Go for Cook. Tedesco. Cook and Tedesco had a good combination during State of Origin, didn't they? They have played together, those two. Here's Cherry Evans. Going for Mitchell on this left edge. He's on the ground. And the Kiwi survivor up and a hazard. Yeah, Jordan Rapina just dropped back in behind. And Sean Johnson giving a nice little bit of cover there as well. This is Manu trying to get the centre field. One, two, three, four Australians in the tackle. It's Martin Ezelesnia. No Roger to Ivasa Sheik in this game, remember. Mamalo. Very good player. Very good season for Watani Zelesnia for Penrith. Wairia Hargreaves. He's in the thick of it. That is, that's his eighth carry already. Good stint in the first 19 minutes. Now there's Johnson inside the 40. Looking for a 40 20 though, and it's bounced kindly, has it? Well, it did initially, but Gungai in the end forced to tidy it up. So Aaron Woods is on the football field. Jordan McLean has got a spell already on the bench. As is Jake Tarovic, just entered the field for the other front rower. Penalty against New Zealand. That's the first one they've conceded in the game. Too slow, guys. Stay over here, Dally. Also play for Samoa, of course, in the International Rugby League. Stay behind, guys. Let's go. No changes yet for the Kiwis, it seems. Woods is on for Clemmer. Hold Jesse, drive is on for McLean. Kalfusi. The Auckland-born player in this Australian team. At least Kalfusi. Cook. Oh! Like you knocked it on. Damien Cook just took off without the football this time. All the way. Down south of Wollongong, born in Greenpoint, a beautiful part of the world. Have a look at it here, Kofusi, and off he goes. But hello, he's over here, guys. Got to take the football with me. So important for at some stage in this test match for New Zealand to lead. To actually just put some pressure back on Australia and the new spine of Australia to see how they react. Stay in, James. Two hands, Cody. Feet down, Felice. No, Luke Carey now. Remember, he's off for that HIA after collecting. Hit on the knee. Hunt straight into action there, making good tackle on the Kiwi skipper in this game. 
Johnson. Very quickly that time on Fisher Harris. Josh McGuire is opposite number. James Fisher Harris, no chance for him. Stretch those legs and field pass this time to Bromwich. Variety to the Kiwis. Attacks so far. The Aussies have repelled everything. Woods in there making a tackle this time. Same with McGuire. Finish off. Wairia Hargreaves this time. Johnson again. Jesse Bromwich being very active early. Ten metres out. Last tackle. Smith. Johnson again. It's played out. It's going to be six more tackles. Watani Zalesniak. Can he find some space, some holes up the middle? Now on this right edge. Manu. Manu. And the Australians there, though, to stop it, Joseph Manu. Take it out 10 metres. Joseph, play the ball, mate. Oh, Ashley Klein, the referee, called Hill oh, right at the end of the air, which means oh, they go back to the 10 for the second tackle. Come on, go. Wrapping up. Johnson, Fisher, Harris. Stand out! Back foot here. You dropped. Back to back sets here. Can the Kiwis get some points? Johnson to Proctor, short pass. Looks for the offload, Proctor, but couldn't. Release the ball that time. Smith. Johnson. Can they pull the trigger this time? Fast hands. It's Masters with a rear touch in this game. Isan Masters. And that might have drifted forward, it has. San Masters playing in the left centre. His first touch, really, of the game. San Masters gets it wrong. There's an opportunity there as well. But the pass just here. drifts forward. Here, sums it up. Go, and the call's correct. Second row is it's disappointing. I see the attack has been one. down the right edge for the Second Kiwis. Row. And the last time they went to the left, Kim Amalo comes up short in the corner. Just hold there, Cody. Score remains six points to nil with Valentine Holmes getting the try That's in the good. third minute of the game for Australia. And he kicked his own conversion as well. Hold straight, wait here, wait. Go, one. Cook, Trebojevic. Looks like there'll be a double change coming up for the Kiwis, with Marty Tapao and also Kenny Bromwich. So expect Brandon Smith Go. to get a breather. Get up. Jesse, next to me here, Kevin. Wait. Go. Aaron Woods. Oh, he's got an awkward little spare around the neck. It was from Bromwich. Now Cook Taylor made for him. Damien Cook runs for the first time in the game. That outstanding pace that he possesses on display there is Cherry Evans. Nicely controlled by Rapana. And Martini Zalesniak has Malmalo there. No real opportunity for Big Ken Malmalo to get those legs pumping though on that occasion it's good to see the shift early isn't it on the zero tackle so the kick goes through four times in this match so far we've seen them shift it instead of just charging it back and maybe change the defensive line up a bit here's Isaac Liu good yards he's got Isaac very good yards he's going to have to go he's going to have to play big minutes in this game he only had six 80 minute games this season Isaac Liu and he's going to have Jake Jake Josh some oxygen tanks required for him at the end of the game, you'd think, as Johnson runs. Here's Isaac Liu again. Sneak through the hole, but the defence has been excellent from Australia. They've only missed three tackles so far in the first 24 minutes. Proctor. Manu. Beautiful hands there from Johnson. Johnson! Johnson almost there, and it's the last play. He didn't quite get there. But that's what you want to see. Sean backing himself and backing himself late as well. That was oh so close. Have a look at this. Joey Manu just holding it in one hand and then Sean showing it and then couldn't quite get enough momentum to propel him towards the try line. 15 to play until half time. Monty beat them. What's your thoughts so far? Well, a couple of opportunities missed on either flank for the Kiwi side, but for me, it's all about the nines and what happened. Isaac Luke, Cameron Smith, two of the long stages for both teams in the hooking role, not here tonight. So it's what Brandon Smith could do. He looked good in the opening 20 minutes. Surprised he come off, but it's going to come down to Luke Carey if he can come back from the HIA. 
And with a hunt will come off the bench and cover Hooker or not, so stay tuned. Sorry, Monty, to cut you a little bit short there, but Australia have coughed it up. Handed some football straight back to the Kiwis. Now, there's some points on offer here. Well, Trebojevic it was. Jake Trebojevic, who's lost the ball there. He's got ever so slightly, has he? Yes, there it is. He's got a little bit of a helping hand on the way down. I'm not quite sure why Ashley Klein to let play on there. They go there. Australia have been in their own half 74% of this first 26 minutes. But their defence has been excellent, hasn't it? Water tight. 140 tackles to 90. Nikarima runs. A risky pass there. Trebojevic could easily end it up in his big, uh, big hands. Late one. Martinisa Lesniak did really well to hold on. Masters, big powerful lad. Five kilos, 22 years of age. Marty Tatao is out there now. Look for the offload. There it is. Martinisa Lesniak. Could there be space out wide here for Manu? Manu. And the tackling is so good, isn't it? Lovely footwork. His Roosters teammate Cordner was the tackler on that occasion. Nikarima. To Powell again. To Powell. Nice hands. That's superb. This one's going to be a score to Mel Malo. Bit of justice there for Ken. Don't worry about the hands. What about the tunnel ball? been on the field two minutes he's got two offloads already he's nearly 80 this year for the season and Ken Mamalo he has been so highly involved this season and it's a credit to him they shift across Marty to Powell cracks in between his two manly teammates Trevojevic and Cherry Allen Evans the tunnel ball from Dallin and then just nice hands to Ken Mamalo, Liu, to Masters, to Mamalo. He only got five tries this season, Ken Mamalo, but a many aspects of his play actually outshone David Fussy too, who got all the headlines for his try scoring exploits this season, but Mamalo has had a fantastic season. Great try there to the Kiwis, Justin. Yeah, great try for Ken Mamalo there, and offloads, they're so hard to defend. Marty Tapao coming on, two offloads, as Daryl mentioned. All their structured play, the Kiwis, they weren't able to break them down. Didn't force the Kangaroos to miss many tackles. I still think they're in single figures for missed tackles, the Kangaroos. But offloads, that's the key for this Kiwis team. If they can offload the football and find some space on the outside, they're a really good chance of breaking down this Kangaroos defence. Sean Johnson now. 183 points in the Kiwis jersey for him. He's had his greatest season with the boot. Sean Johnson kicking at about 75%. His son Masters also a goal kicker, and Jermaine Asako not required this evening. They all kick about the same, and at 75%. Let's have a look at the strike. Strike's good. He just drags it to the left. Good signs, though, for the Kiwis in these last 20 minutes. They look good. Ken Mamalo ran for more metres than anyone else in this Kiwi side this year. 24. 180 metres, there's the tunnel ball. Remember doing that in the backyard? Do it at primary school as well, wouldn't you? A wonderful play. Okay. Good fry, a good uh, yeah. link there from Isaac Leo as well. As Mitchell restarts playing, and Justin, you got an update on Luke Carey? Yes, and it's bad news for the Kangaroos. Luke Carey hasn't passed his HIA, so he will not be returning for the remainder of the match. All right, so Ben Hunt, step on up. Makes the spine then to Desco. It's going to be a uh, penalty to the Kiwis. So Hunt and Cherry Evans now in the hearts. Yeah, four penalties now for Australia. The Kiwis only been penalised once. The Kiwis sitting on a healthy 86% completion. Masters. I don't know if Nikarima was expecting it, but Kenny Bromwich has it. Stand 
Zachary will slot into dummy half now with Brandon Smith off the field after 20 minutes of play. Here's Wairia Hargreaves remaining out there. He's been uh, playing good minutes this season. 44 minutes actually only per game this season, Jarrett. And he's already out there for 30. Johnson. Proctor. He's made post contact by a lot of Kiwi players. Been impressive so far in this game. Only made two errors in the game as well in 30 minutes. To power. Right on the 30. Roma chipped dummy half this time. Now Nikarima. Oh, the tackle counter three started. So look, Isaac Liu hurt the call and just took the tackle. Smart play from Isaac Liu. As the Kiwis enjoy more possession. It's battering away against this Australian defence, which continues to hold on impressively. Woods again in there making a tackle. Cook and Kalfusi and Maguire have already made 20 tackles each in the game. Proctor, great hands. As the Kiwis swing on to attack again, Rapana with a hole. Almost caught them on the hop. Nice variety there from Jordan Rapana. Johnson again. Bromwich. Nikarima kicks for Mamalo again. Tedesco can do nothing but force it for another line drop out the third of the game. Really good width and attack from the Kiwis here. Jordan Rapana has a little crack on his own on the far right. And then two plays later, they shift it right across. This is where Jordan spots a little hole, trying to keep them napping. And here, away they go to Bromwich. And now Nikarima had to square himself up just to get a kick through. But look at that. One, two, three Kiwis in the chase. North Australia have been working out of their own end for the majority of this 30 minutes they've played. They've got some more defending to do. Mitchell again gives a good one. Kalfusi to Voyevich, Cherry Evans. You see Cherry Evans touch the ball in this game. And just shifting it forward is Fisher Harris. Make some strong Australian defence again. Thomas lines out to the right here for the Kiwis. Early in this set, Frizzell gets a taste of the action. That's a beautiful line there from Martin Zalesniak. Good pass to for Wairia Hargreaves. Fast play the ball too. There's the Kiwis on the front foot again. Here comes Johnson. Kicks and Tedesco. Well, you can see what Johnson was thinking, but the execution not quite there, Daryl. Good cover from Tedesco. This is Gagai. He's going backwards. So much football, but only four points. As reward. Kalfusi. Tom Trevojevic. Cook. Jake Trevojevic this time. Fisher Harris wraps him up. Oh, a good D on the right this time from Joey Manu. Raced up and cut them off. Here's Cook. He's looking for a bit of a hole down the centre, but that's straight to Talamatanesia. Look out! He just loves running straight at players. Didn't really want to accommodate him, Jerry Evans, did he? Earns a penalty too. Off the back of that, with that energy, that desire and determination that is Dallin Watanet Zelezniak, the captain. Look at this. Puts the head down. Stay behind, guys. He's not the biggest rooster in town. Here we are, Sean, just there. Great desire. They need more of that, the Kiwis. They need more fight on the ground. Leave those kangaroo defenders on the ground to get some space on their structured play. Michael McGuire will be sitting in the coach's box, box thinking that's why I made him captain. So what you want your captain to do is Isaac Liu. Good carry from him in the early part of this set. Here's Tapao from a long way back. Tedesco in there making the tackle. And once again, we're inside the 10. Nikarima. Johnson again. Manu again. Manu this time. He can't get that ball down, he did maybe! Rapid at once, the try to be given. He's absolutely convinced, and Manu is as well. You try taking it off, Joseph, now. He's mid-celebration. I think the touch he's seen it to. 
All right, we have a try. Oh, well, they've called it. But so give us a reason why possession. not. We have the element of, the, of stripping the ball as well. So we potentially have a penalty if he um, knocks the ball on at any stage. Now Manu. How strong is he here? You can see the touch, he just runs out of shot and he's convinced he saw Manu ground the ball. He hasn't grounded it yet. And here it comes, is it? I think it's after that again. Look at the Joseph Manu maintains possession. There. That's where Rapana is, and that's why he says it's a try. Which is clear on Jordan Rapana, driver. There'll be a question mark on Rapana whether or not he's pushed the defender off him. That's what they'll be looking at now. They won't worry about that, Justin. Joseph Minder brings the left hand back to the ball and maintains possession, grounds it in the end goal. We have a decision. That was a fair old effort from Joseph Manu, who is going to be rewarded with a try on debut for the Kiwis. Scored the first try of the grand final two weeks ago for the Roosters, Joseph Manu. What I really like here about Joseph Manu, the first couple of opportunities, he's pulled out of the step to try and get inside Latrell Mitchell. And on this occasion, as you watch it unfold, he backs himself on the outside. So here's the pass from Johnson. We thought he was setting up for the step, and there he goes. He shimmies to the outside and the right. and doesn't produce the step to the side. A good oh. fan. They said Latrell had the best fan. <laughs> oh, I've got one too, says Joseph. Well, I tell you that, Joseph Manu, the Kiwis going to win this game. Justin Morgan will be enjoying having a drink with Latrell Mitchell at the end of this one. Oh, aren't we lucky? Fantastic young centres on display there. Latrell Mitchell got the points decision for the first 20 minutes of the half. Sean hits it nicely, just away to the left. Doesn't convert the try. But Joseph Manu, the second part of the first half, he's got the points decision. A nice try there for the young fella on debut. The Roosters very lucky to have these two guys on their books. Had a try in the grand final. He was a junior Kiwi back in 2015 as well. Season Joseph Manu. Jordan Ruffin has got uh, great credentials to be an official at the end of his playing career after awarding that try. As Lisa Almar will be playing a lot more fully on this field next year when he joins the Warriors at the conclusion of the international season. Fisher Harris is putting in a good shift, isn't he? Highly involved. That's hit up number nine for him. Again, he's going to have to go big minutes in this. He's uh, averaged 56 minutes a game this season. He's had 36 minutes. And again, he's up towards the halfway line. Johnson. Straight down to Valentine Holmes. The try scorer for Australia. Oh, good defence there on the... He's had a good edge up there, Cody Nakarima on the left. Led the players in front of him, pushing Valentine Holmes back towards the middle of the field. There's two very good tackles there from Kenny Bromwich. Slowed to play the ball right down as well. The boy. He lost it. Oh, where did he lose that? Well, they all look a little bit dumbfounded, don't they? He said, who? Me? What's going on? Tom says, where? Well, that was um, conclusive, wasn't it? Well, I lose it in the tackle. Second row is the line here. Now the errors down. against yeah. Australia are starting to tell a story. Yeah. Eight errors to, to New Zealand's two. Yeah. Finding guys. Ball handling has been excellent in this game. Just make sure you're strong with the calls, basically. This is Tom. A little bit of an guys. unfamiliar Let's go. Here we go, boys. position at right centre for him. Just trying to get himself involved. Maybe he loses the ball there into the Kiwi player. Well, Ken Mamalo gets a big. Don't argue from Boyd Cordner. Just 
was well picked up by Ashley Klein, actually the referee there, that loose carry from Tom Tavoyevich. Two minutes left until half-time, gee, the Kiwis would love one more. Good footwork by Lisa Alvaro. That time as he heads down to the 20. Down, down, down. dummy half. Johnson. Here goes Johnson. Putting the footwork on. Then a strong first half from Johnson, has he? Bromwich. Fisher Harris nicely runs onto that one. And straight to Cook. Last play here, Bromwich. Shocking pass. Manu kicks. Oh, what an easy lead that did he get it down? Well, if that hasn't got you off your couch, nothing will. I don't know if he's onside. Okay. She's done it, she's gonna go back first and then pick up. Last tackle of a try. Now we need to confirm Joseph Manu does not knock the ball on. He maintains possession. Then just confirm the onside offside and that Dallin maintains possession through the catch into the grounding. Oh, but to look at then. The ball hits the ground and I'm sure Joseph Manu, yes, picks it up well. Oh, gee, that's a close call, isn't it? Yeah, but at no time does his fingertips that are touching the football lose control once they actually start the contact. Use the ground to help him to recover. Did you let him know? Yeah, if his hands are on, it's all right. What do they say? It's interesting listening to the referee there. He reckons it's okay. But they are really analysing it, aren't they? To the Joseph Minor degree. takes possession cleanly before the ball strikes the ground. Did you mop the sweat off your brow there, Daryl? Choose the ground, you get it back up. The ball contacts Joseph Lane's left hand, then contacts the ground before the right hand makes contact. We have a decision. Okay, thank you. Yep, hand over, 15 out. 15 out, 15 in. Well, I'm not 100% on that. Gee, that's tough. Let's go. Oh, we're going to look at that as Be a well, it's going to be Australian ball. We have less than 90 seconds to go in the first guys. half. Just wait, wait, Ben. Go, no tackle. Okay, reset. Frizzell. Out there now, Tyson Frizzell. So all the Australian players have seen action in this first half. No sign of Adam Blair just yet for the Kiwis. Experience oh, in this Kiwi's line gets out there of his 45th test. Okay, two. Cook, oh, yeah. Kalfusi. Cook oh, again. Short ball is not Terry Evans. Oh, what a pass from Boyevich. This should be a try to Gagai. And that's what the Aussies can do. The Kangaroos at their best. Possession against them, territory against them. Yet they'll lead at half time. Short side plays here for Australia in the very last minute of the first half. They haven't even been down this end for the last 25 minutes. And well, out of nothing, they deliver a blow. This is the end of the Manu kick and the Zelezniak no try. And then off the back of it, Jerry Evans goes down. Mamalo can't get himself in the way of Tom Trevojevic. Nice little ball on the inside to Gagai. And there's try number two for the Kangaroos. It's a fourth try in Gagai's career. And then the Australian jumper. You slacking off for a second, Justin Morgan. Touched on, Bell. Really hurt you, the Aussies. Yeah, they will. And Daly Cherry Evans, a lot of pressure on his shoulders now that his half's partner, Luke Carey, won't be back. And obviously, without the experience of Cameron Smith at the number nine position, had a huge hand in that try. They would be 
expecting him in the second half to continue to lead this Kangaroos. But they absorb pressure so well and bounce back just before half time. It's a home to this for a four point lead. So goal kicking through critical in this first half, too, with Johnson none from two and those two from two. 12 points to eight is the half time score here at Mount Smart Stadium. Points to eight is the halftime score here at Mount Smart Stadium. Sustained period of attack by the Kiwis hasn't resulted in the halftime lead for the home side, even though Malmalo got over for his first try in a Kiwis jumper. And that was followed by Manu, who also did the same. Two tries to Australia in the first half. At both ends of the first half, Valentine Holmes in the first couple of minutes, and then Dane Gagai right at the end of the first half has them ahead 12 points to eight with both conversions going over. The Kiwis have had a really good first half of football outside of the start and the finish. They completed 18 sets of six as against the Australians eight. Been heavily dominant in this game. Yet Australia lead by 12 points to eight. Well, that uh, controversial decision made just before half time. Has worked to knock the ball on. But just prior to what was a sensational score by Watanis Alesniak. And of course, Damien Cook. with only 35% possession, Australia's done the majority of their tackling. This man here on screen, Damien Cook, who's only run the ball once so far today, has notched up 30 tackles. He will have to play the full 80 now that Luke Carey is off the field. Ben Hunt may have given him a rest sometime in the second half, as was possibly scheduled. But now, Ben Hunt will have to play the balance of the second half at 5-8. So Cherry Evans, point quarter, captaining his country. So first half from him. 24 tackles and four hit-ups. Ward Gordner and Latrell Mitchell, both born in Tari, in the north coast. Kovic playing in the centres, Alfusi, Ian, both in the corner. Ra's been very good. Five tackles, five carries. Here comes Watanis Alesniak and the Kiwis. To make it. Brandon Smith in the first half. He was here for 20 minutes and then vanished. And what do you reckon? He needs to come back on fairly smartly? I don't think it'll be too long before they get him back on the football field. Sean Johnson. He's combined really nicely with Cody Nicarima from Palmerston North. Cody before shifting at an early age to Brisbane. Father and mother making the decision. There was opportunities galore in Queensland. He pulled the right string there. Haven't seen much of his kicking game this year at the Broncos, but a short kicking game on the left. He's paid a couple of nice dividends here in the first half. Second half here at Mount Smart Stadium in the Rugby League International between Australia and New Zealand. Two tries apiece, just goal kicking the difference. Into the, end of the second half. Kenny Bromwich remains on the field with Brandon Smith off it. Fisher Harris met by strong defence. Frizzell, one of the players. Damien Cook, the other. To power. Strong off the bench, hasn't he? Very strong. Very good impact from the interchange as Johnson handles and Proctor. The Kiwis really have to keep their intensity and, and pace up. To power again. Throws himself in there to that Australian defence early in the second half. Good defensive set by Australia there. They've restricted and held New Zealand inside their own half as Johnson hoists. Holmes, one of the try scorers for Australia. Tedesco hasn't had an opportunity to wind up too much from the back so far in this game. Good start to the second half by Australia. 
Again, and Trebojevic gives it to Woods. Surrender! Okay, quickly, Trebojevic runs forward nicely onto it. Okay. It's missed solidly by Kenny Bromwich. Yeah, okay. play now for the Kangaroos as Jerry Evans wins this one through, and it's taken nicely there by Mal Malo. His hands have been very good all year. Really good structure in that set of six from Australia. The last, the second to last play, which avoid, which took it to the middle. Some good options carry. to attack, but there's a good carry there, as you say. This is Rafa now off the back of a good play, the ball from Zilezniak. This is Midas from Dummy Half, one of the best in the NRL, as Rafa plays it quickly again and masters another one off run behind the ruck. So New Zealand have gobbled up 30, 40 metres from those last three plays, look good in doing so. Now Lisa Almar again. Oh, security is good. Much better set that time from the Kiwis. Nikarima runs. Now Johnson puts it on the toe again, and it's just dribbled into touch. Would have liked that to have gone just a little bit to the left and infield a tad. Probably the worst kick of Sean Johnson's this evening. He's had some good ones in the first half and started the game really, really well. Have a look at how he shapes. He gets the ball late from Cody Nikarima. He shapes kick once and then goes for the second time, just creating a little bit of space in between the defenders. It's just a little bit heavy. Justin, is that breeze still behind the Kiwis in the second half, or has it died down? Yeah, it's died down a little bit, Darrell. It's a little bit gusty, but you expect the wind to pick up at certain times, but it's certainly not as strong as it was in the first half for the Kangaroos. It was forecast as Cook leaps away from dummy half runs for the second time in the game, but Fisher Harris gets a quick stop to that. And then gives away the pedal, James Fisher Harris. I don't know whether it was James Fisher Harris over the top too long or a little leg pull there from Kenny Bromwich. Being really disciplined in the first half of the Kiwis. Here, look at Cook. Just gets away so easily, doesn't he? And here. So Kenny's holding on. Mm. Second penalty of the game only against New Zealand there. Discipline's been very good. That was a flat pass at best to Aaron Woods. Untangle, the ball, two. side this time as Cordner hits the line strongly again. Can he in favour of New Zealand? 62 to 38 to set. Jack Trebojevic. Get him surge into the line there from Trebojevic. Fast play the ball to and cooks away again. Hunt. Jerry Evans. Good tackle from Masters. Ball and all that one. Really good tackle. Romano finishes him off nicely. Cook again. Hunt. He's going to hoist it back and feel for Tedesco maybe. Martin Zalesniak has it. It's good play from Ken, wasn't it? Coming in to give the Sun Masters a little bit of help in hand. Here comes Rafa. Zalesniak was safe under the high ball. The crowd baying for a penalty. A good pace again from the Kiwis. Malo gets to his feet quickly again. Rapana, Taylor made for him to grab another 10 metres. Carry 11 for Ken Mamalo. Romich again. And to power. Good roll up the middle of the field at the moment, the Kiwis, haven't they? Two to three sets to start the second half. Johnson. That's too deep. To the 20, they come. The outside backs of the Kiwis, very good in the middle of the field. Started this second half to making lots of metres. Mamalo, Masters, Rappiner especially out of dummy half, making lots of metres. Just those kicks. Just not uh, putting the polish on those sets. It's Tedesco earns a penalty. So now the second penalty of the second half for Australia, handing a little bit of possession to them off the back of two poor kicks to start the second half. I liked it in the first half where they chanced their arm and pretty much ran it as well as having a kick and option on the last play. 
Maybe they can get back to that the next time they get the football. Well, the Australians will have field position, you'd think. Right at the end of the set. There's Cook. Gives it to Trebojevic. Started the second half strongly. Frizzell really yet to see him fire up too much in this match. He's not too much opportunities. That's only his second hit up as Trebojevic hauls it out to Hunt. Great pass from Hunt. Beautifully gathered in by Holmes. But Rapina, good tackle. Good D from Rapina. Pushed out from the inside. Good shot on Holmes there. Stopped his momentum dead. Hunt again. Wonderful pass from Ben Hunt there. Switch of direction again, but beautifully read by Manu on his Roosters teammate Tedesco. Cook again. Frizzell. Two tackles left in the set. Cook again. Now it's Trebojevic back inside to Cherry Evans. Nikarima grabbed him. Last tackle here for the Kangaroos. There goes Hunt. Play on is the call, and the Kiwis have it. There's danger stations there. Zelezniak was caught at marker. And the kick goes through. There's no one home. This is to Powell. Looks like he's out of energy as well. And he's put in a big... 30 minutes since being on. Liu. This is where the Australian defence is going to have some real muscle in it. But Liu does well. Little wriggle out of the initial contact. Rapina, likewise. That's a good run. Now, quick play, the ball needed. Lisa Almao. Woods has him. Well, the Kiwis have done all right to at least get to their 30. Hard yards for them in the second half so far. Holmes traps the ball. In fact, it's Dane Gangai. And back come, come the Kangaroos again. Good numbers in the tackle here. One, two, three, four for the Kiwis. The Aussies are a little bit bunched here. Second tackle here now. Let's we'll see if they can get some shape and some structure. Adam Blair is on the field, the last player introduced into the game. All 17 players from both teams have featured. Look out, here comes Mitchell. Manu. Oh, he got rid of Manu. Mitchell, he's a handful. This could be a try out onto the right edge. Trebojevic. Lines his way through that Kiwi's defence. Cook to Cherry Evans. Now to Disco. The Kiwi stop him. Two metres out. The Kiwi's hanging on grimly here as Cook tries to find a hole, but the Kiwi's get him just. It was to Powell. Cherry Evans with the kick. Great set of six from Australia, but the Kiwis did well to hang on there. Oh, good D. Great scramble D. Many a holes that closed late for the Kiwis. This is Latrell Mitchell just backing himself. Rapana goes low, and he just pushes away from them. Manu comes across. He swivels inside. And here, Tom Trevojevic heads midfield. And then they shift it to the right. And look at that. Dallin Watton and Zelezniak. Fullback on fullback. Wow. That needed to be made, that tackle. Well, this is the first line dropout in the game for the Kiwis. The tempo of the game's just gone up a couple of notches. Cook's probing out of acting half. It's been a real momentum shift. The first 10 minutes of the second half. They're going for the short kickoff, are they? No, they're not. They just faked it for a little bit there. Sean Johnson at the NRL this season with the Warriors as Woods brings it back to the 30. So the Australians have set themselves again. Frizzell, first up. They're in track to making the tackles there. It's Trebojevic, track Trebojevic. Seems to find a hole, an opportunity, create an opportunity for his for his teammates. The Kiwis will be doing very well to hang on here. There's Cook. That was a knock on on from Ben Hunt into Sean Johnson, and the Kiwis will get the ball. I know Sean Johnson has had his moments this year, and everyone's had their opinion about him. The one thing that has really improved is his defence. 
His line speed, he leads the right edge. And on this occasion, he leads it far enough after Ben Hunt has a little bow peep. And propels the football back into Sean. Have a look at this. Second Cook takes far too long line. to deliver the football, right and Sean bounces start. in front of him. Let's go, That's great, D. Isaac. Even though attack was not really made, oh, he's taking the space. Stay in, Aaron. Stay in, James. We'll call it. Out. That's good. And the Kiwis hang on. That's my mother. Wrestles his way down 25 metres out, 15 metres out rather than his own line. Maybe Sam Masters. Aaron, get up! Mark Strait is here, boy. Jake, wait, Jake! Very good season for the Tigers, Sam Masters. He's Liu. Been good, hasn't he? Isaac Liu. Oh, he's been solid. They call him Ice. One, two, three. Now just a little bit overzealous in the play of the ball. His sure 12th head time. up of the match. You Pretty much all targeted at Delhi Cherry Evans, too. Evans is getting close to 20 tackles for the match. Cooks up to 37. Proctor leading the tackle count for the Kings at 23. They've had a lot more possession. Still in possession, 59% for 41. Now, Brandon Smith work, is back on. Okay, One with the shoot, the remainder of the match. Karima, Johnson, to power, Maria Hargreaves and Jesse Bromwich beginning their warm-ups. Re into the game as well. Johnson, the space here. Omar was back on the inside. Well, let's play on. Off the mark there, perhaps Omar, but back come the Kiwis through Blair. Blair, oh, sneaking through. Smith, back to Nakarima. Short pass to Liu. So the Kiwis back on to attack here. An opportunity. First time we've seen them down the centre of the field with the ball in hand. Smith goes for dummy half. Did Smith force it? Brandon Smith. Unconventional. He believes he got there. Couple six here, Chiefs. We have a try. We need to confirm that Brandon Smith maintains possession of the ball. We do have it on the line. Well, that's Tedesco's leg initially, isn't it? Does he retain possession, though? We're obscured by that angle. He reaches out. What does this tell us here? He's still got a hold of the football there. And... The arm carrying Brandon the Brandon Smith maintains possession of the ball to this point. Touch the ground, head to the ground. Obviously, we clear double movement aspects and everything. That's where it appears it's gone onto the line there. Well, Joseph Manu didn't get a good call. Five at the end of the first half. It looks like they might get a good call here. I thought it was double movement once he broke it down. But we'll take the green light, don't worry about that. He found a way, the boy from Waiheke. All those ferry trips and those bus rides to training. All those years ago. He sensed there was something special coming with him. He was so excited this week. And here, he didn't know whether it was the right option on the last play. He knew it was. Oh, well, well, Brandon Smith and Joseph Manu, the two debutants in this test for the Kiwis, get over and score on debut, Justin Morgan. Yeah, and you feel there was a hint of possible double movement, but James Tedesco actually pulls the ball towards him, and that's most probably got it on the line. Great work there from the young hooker. They've got big wraps on him, obviously learning his trade from Cameron Smith down at the Melbourne Storm. And he'll be extremely happy about scoring a try in his debut. And it's game on here, 54 minutes into the second half. Tim Johnson lining up this kick. This is actually 
a really good sign from the Kings here, Daryl. They were under the pump 10 minutes ago at the other end of the field, and they came out of it, not conceding the point. Now they've scored at the other end. Good signs for the Kiwis here. So Sean, an important kick here. Well on the edge. Normally eats these for breakfast. Does he get a good strike? He does. Since the first two kicks across the face of goal. Now is that one. Oh, it's cool. And we saw Brandon Smith point to his wrist and it had rams on there. And that's all those Waiheke rams out there. They're probably here, actually, at Mount Smart. Born on Waiheke Island. Ready, guys? Plenty of work to do for that. Green Trust in the Kiwis, Maguire, Kalis, and Stacey Jones. Plenty of time to play with 25 minutes, but I mentioned in the first half, it would be nice for the Kiwis to lead at some stage to challenge the resolve of this new look Australian side with, without the immortal players that will be in waiting with Smith and Cronk and Slater. Now the pressure comes on Cherry Evans. Okay, yes, not only have Australia won 13 straight test matches, but Mel Meninga, their coach, has never been beaten as the Australian coach. 11 out of 11 for him. And there from Tao Tao. And up comes Alma again, again. The Kiwis making good metres up the middle of the field again. Smith, the little roots and dummy half has been much better since he's returned to the field. Too much depth on that kick from Nicarima and Tedesco begins to set on the twin. There's no pressure on the right there for Sean Johnson to kick the ball as well. As I question the value of coming to the left for Cody Nicarima under pressure like that. Anyway, he got it away. Gag on. Good solid tackle there from Brandon Smith. Woods. Woods, five metres out from his own. Uh, from halfway, rather. It's Cook. Once again, a dummy half. David Clemmer back out there. The last 24 minutes of the game. He's solid in that first session. Yeah, we'll get out of first here on the hoodie on the sideline. And not required for this match. As the Kings can lay their third penalty of the half now in very similar circumstances. Now let's head to Monty Beetham's sideline. Monty. Yeah, I've got to say, win the game from the Bellas when you've been in this situation over these years, you've got someone like Cameron Smith, future immortals who just step up without even asking, or well, they make you feel at ease. But now with the changing of the guard, it's up to someone else now to put their hand up and bring this game home for the Australians. Well, throws to Cherry Evans and Ben Hunt and that man Boyd Courtney, the captain. Woods, here comes Frizzell, a dangerous ball runner. Tyson Frizzell. Lots of energy from him. He plays the ball fast. Cook from dummy half. Oh, good tackle. That was Brandon Smith who stopped his opposite number. The threat remains for Australia. Hunt. Caught in possession is Tedesco. Joseph Manu coming more and more into this game defensively. Very important play for him there. Cook again to Clemmer. For the last. On the last play now. Kicking game becomes important here for Cherry Evans. They're going to run it. Tedesco to Revoivich. And it's dropped by Dane Gangai. Suspect looking pass anyway as the Kiwis congratulate Kim Malmalo. They were just hanging in there, weren't they? The Kiwis on their own line. But they forced them to play. And that's what you've got to like. Tedesco shifts it to Tom Trevojevic. There's really no space for Dane Gagai on the outside. Mamalo was all over him. A little kick in behind was the answer. Trevojevic, a little bit out of position in that centre roll. He normally catch the ball one play in, a fullback where Tedesco was. This is Mamalo. Big set here for the Kiwis. Important to get to the kick here. Maria Hargreaves back out there as the Kiwis chart goes up here at Mount Smart. Good to hear. Rapina. Bromwich. Can he, uh, they're rather, that's Jesse Bromwich back out there. Smith to Blair. Adam Blair not required in the first half. He won't have a problem with fatigue in this match. As Smith, Wairia Hargreaves. Hasn't Brandon Smith added some real crispness out of dummy half since he's 
return to the football field. Smith again, and it's Johnson. Good set coming off their own line there, but it owns. We'll go back to James Tedesco. It was the right option for Sean to kick there. And he found some space, but the bounce just bounces straight up into the hands of Tedesco, who gives it to Holmes, and how out. What a pass to Mitchell! Ooh, well, well, well. Opportunity lost. Not the first time we've seen a loose pass here. As Val Holmes pushes himself on the inside. And the lazy offload in the tackle. The trail has a little bit of a bow peat. Uncharacteristic of the Kangaroos. I think they're up to 10 errors at the moment. But a couple of moments ago, we just heard Jesse Bromwich and Jared Wairua Hargreaves going back onto the field. Got to give a big rap to this bench of the Kiwis team. Lisa Narmau, Marty Tapao, Kenny Bromwich. They've done a fantastic job. And it's allowed Brandon Smith that little bit of a break, as you've mentioned. And he's come on full of energy. And now the two senior props back on the field, along with Adam Blair. Great job from the Kiwis bench so far. It's a real solid middle of the field now for the Kiwis to end this match. Nikarima, short pass to Isan Masters. He's got tangled up with Nikarima there. Really almost ankle tapping. Romich again, give me the ball, he says. It's looking good and returning to the field. Nikarima, plenty of space for him. Quick hands required there. The tackle from Hunt. Doesn't give Johnson any space. He's had no space at all in the second half. Here's Sean Johnson. So, the Kiwis in the red zone again. Smith, Bromwich, tries to pass through. Smith again. Wairia Hargreaves at first receiver. Now Johnson. Sean Johnson. Did he go the wrong way? Smith. Sean Johnson, nothing on on the right. They've had many opportunity on that right side this evening. And then Sean starts to dance. I thought there was a hole opening up right in the middle he was going to take on himself. And a lovely little lazy. Have a look at this, Hargraves sweeps it on to Johnson, sees nothing. One, two, then bounces here, three. Brandon Smith knows there's some space on the outside. Ice to Essan Masters. That's not the first time that's happened for a try tonight. Well done to Isaac Liu. He's been in fine form tonight, Sean Johnson. His first couple of carries in the first half really threatened the line, put some kicks through. Often we see him throwing that last pass for the try, but this time it was his creative stepping, offloading to one of his teammates. And Sean Johnson, he has really led this team exceptionally well so far in this game. With 62 and a half minutes gone, he's been at the forefront of a lot of what this Kiwis team's been doing. I'll back you up there too, Justin. In the first half, we saw Sean Johnson run the ball in the first 10 minutes of the match, and he bounced around down on the try line, and then he put himself over. And I think you know Sean's on when he actually runs the ball at the line and gets tackled. I reckon the play is... Off the run from Johnson for Brandon Smith again was superb. He quickly got back into position and drew the man superbly to throw that pass to Liu. That uh, really created the overlap from there. So, Important kick here. Yep. His third sideline kick tonight. Let's see what sort of shape he gets on it. Uh, and yes. Well, that kicks the Kiwis clear. An eight point margin now, 20 points to 12. Isan Masters, second try. Scored on debut against England in Denver. Selfless play, wasn't it? Selfless from Smith. That's what you want on a team. Ah, the Kiwis were down by four at half time. 12 points to eight. They've kept the Australian scoreless in the second half so far. 
We've seen how quickly these oh, Australians can turn in some points. So, Glenn, haven't we? We have indeed. Don't, don't leave your seat. Now Cook's off the field. Proctor. Hey! Think about the Australians and try scoring opportunities they've created, both from long range there. Really, it's been the Kiwis game. It really has. Certainly been the better of the two teams to this point of the game. Blair offloads a beauty to Wairia Hargreaves Johnson again. Interesting kick and the chase this time. Oh, it's bounced nicely to Desco. He does well to get out. He ducked under one from Joseph yeah. Manu there. Those black jerseys were coming. He was zeroing in. Oh, what a hot there from Wairia Hargreaves. Solid run from Gagai. Great defence. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell. Now, Nick Kareem is the smallest bloke out there against one of the biggest athletic guys out there. And Mitchell doesn't go much further either. Starting to bring the crowd onto it now. Fusi. They can smell an upset now, can't they? Now, Tom Trebojevic. Those kangaroos have lethal attackers from all over the park now. Nothing but distance from Cherry Evans on that occasion. Here comes Watani Zalesnia. Little flutter there. The ball propels backwards. Some of the Kiwis are starting to walk back on side here. Only four back behind to play the ball here as Ken Mamalo rises to his feet. Rafana it is who comes into the middle with a good scampering run right down Main Street. It's really so effective, isn't it? From dummy half like that. There goes Mamalo again. Didn't the wingers do a superb job there in that set? Both of them inspiring each other, Liu. He's been one of the best for the Kiwis in this game. Really, really good game from Isaac Liu. Let's play now. It's Johnson. He's going to kick from Manu. It's taken nicely by Holmes. Great shot there from Proctor. Haven't been able to get a contest on the kick today, have we? Jordan Rapana on that side there. Would have been fair. He was a little bit spent after a couple of hit-ups in the last set of six. But I'd love to see a contest on the end of those kicks just to finish it off properly. Oh, there's a contest. <laughs> there's plenty of vim and vigour in this Kiwi defence at the moment. Jesse Bromwich left sprawling a little bit there, but he'll be all right. Kovojevic on the 20. Clemmer. Clemmer with 35 out from his own line, but it's the last play to Australia. As McGuire plays dummy hard. And again, Cherry Evans doesn't get an overly amount of distance. And at the moment, it's the Kiwis again who have got the momentum both on defence and attack, Daryl. That was a really difficult bounce there for Jordan Rapana. Somewhat a torpedo bounce across the field. This is Zelezniak. Makes good metres. It feels like the Kiwis have got some more points in them in this game. Playing at the right end of the field, Glenn. Sure are. Is Johnson. Jesse Bromwich. Smith. Some individual brilliance could really spark this Kiwi performance into a very good win. Now Liu. Aussies on their line again. Masters to Nikarima. Johnson. Manu. Manu! It's Rapana! The Kiwis have more points in them! What about this kid? From Tokoroa. Wow! Joseph Manu, what can't you do? This is absolutely quite brilliant. The timing of it to toss the ball back in field. Knowing that Jordan Rapinoe would be there is quite brilliant. Every step he's made, Joseph Manu, has propelled himself into a new atmosphere. There was nothing on. And they backed themselves again on the last. We asked that of Sean, like he did in the first half. And then we'll track the play and have a look at the finish.
Here it is, Nikarima to Johnson, who skips to the outside as well, then delivers a two-on-two. Two. Mitchell and Manu. Manu the victor again, but he's just so composed. To the outside, where are you? Here, you, here I am. Wow. Take it away, Justin. Oh, beautiful here from Sean Johnson. I love this play. Running it on the outside. Manu gets it up over his roosters teammate and he gives him a little bit of a smile as he gets up off the ground here but if the Kiwis can go on and win this game what a great prelude to the three match series that they play against England later this month and apart from going into that series with a win against the Kangaroos they'll be certainly acclimatised it's absolutely freezing down here I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm back at I feel like I'm back at Craven Park in Hull no one's cold out there in a Kiwis jersey Justin they are red hot what I don't know if uh, this Kiwi's performance if the Kiwi's to go and win. Does doing Tonga any favours next week for that Australian test? Well, no, the Australians are going to come back, aren't they? That's an important kick as well for Sean Johnson. Uh, buried it. And he has nailed it. I've got to say, there's no better right edge in the NRL than Jordan Rapana and BJ Lalua. We've got to see this Joseph Manu and Rapanat play together a bit more often. We'll see more of this. Wonderful play from Manu. Well, the Kiwis have outscored the Kangaroos in this half. 18 points to nil. Short kickoff here from Holmes. Johnson picks it up. He positioned himself beautifully there, Sean Johnson. Confidence in this Kiwis team. It's impressive too. As they, their heads would have been, their heads could have easily been down at half time, having dominated the first half, but behind on the scoreboard. Completion rate of 91%. Australia, 65%. Momentum with the Kiwis. I know they went behind early after that Valentine Holmes score. High kick here from Sean Johnson. And Gangai has got it. Oh, it's pretty rare, isn't it? For the Kiwis to trail at half time against Australia, but go on and win the game. See, it hasn't happened for 15 years. To boy, but something has happened to him here. Yeah. Caught a little bit awkwardly in the tackle here as the replacements of Cook from Jake Travojevic about to get their boarding passes. Doesn't look good, does he, Tom? New Zealand about 145 play the balls. And Australia, with this play the ball, will just clock up a century in 100. Let's have a look here. Hargraves it is down low. Bromwich over the top, and then well, Brandon Smith comes in and gives Tom right across the chops. Just staying out there. He and uh, Dan Gang, Dan Gang, I just switched positions for the meantime. Clement. He wants his need to score, he needs to score fast. Do you have any chance now? He's about to score them 18 to nil. Here is that special something, perhaps. No, well read by Nicarima. Well, he tried the little kick over the top, and it was Jerry Evans who was chasing. So now to Dylan Rotten, Zelezny, the captain, comes in. Hasn't he provided bursts of energy when it's needed? Masters has come more into the game, too. Stay there! So what's the change? Day three. First one is. Bromwich, Leo. He hasn't been driven back once in the game. Smith. Well, it has been a, a very good effort from the forwards in this game by the Kiwis. They have dominated the middle of the field, particularly in the second half. Nikarima. Inside the 10 again, Cody Nikarima. 
Last play, Bromwich. Now Johnson finally gets it. What will Sean Johnson do? Oh, can you believe it? That's been played at, and it's going to be a Kiwi scrum. Everything going for the Kiwis in this second half. It's a great last play option, isn't it? When it falls like that. But again, they're looking for holes in the last play. Instead of an uncontested kick, they're just probing and probing. Sean wants to play, he wants to bounce. And in the pass, he finds a hand of Dane Gagai. Basically gives him a repeat set. It's a great tactic. Because defensive teams often on that last play become a little bit passive and get a little bit edgy when they get short of numbers. And there was a good example. Gagai got a little bit edgy, came out of the line, and the Kiwis get another six tackles. I really like the positiveness on that last play from the Kiwis. He got the try scoring underway for the Kiwis in the first half. Mal Malo. Getting better and better as a player, isn't he, Kim Mal Malo? Bromwich. Plenty of Aussies there. The crowd right around the ball carrier. That means there could be space out wide again for New Zealand. Blair. Smith goes from dummy half. Is he going to get it? four here. I've got to try. Now, just make sure that he doesn't actually ground the ball on the foot of the Australian player, so he could actually have a knock-on. So there you hear it. Does he ground the football on the foot of the Australian player? And the answer is quite simply yes to that. And is there grass also touching the football when it is placed on the boot, possibly, maybe the top of the grass. He's left it a yeah. bit, little bit long here at the groundsman today. Brandon Smith places the ball on the foot, it does not get to the ground, and he loses possession in the window. Have a decision. Well, well, come on. Yeah, but I've got to get there, so you can go there if you want. Uh, Smith is going to be denied. Just add to a little bit more theatre for the evening. They certainly earned their money in the bunker this evening, haven't they? Probably worked up a sweat. It's a knock on over the trial line. I won't try, but it's on the foot. It's clearly on the foot. This is right. Tell him what's in his list now, because just. It's right, I knew the answer. Um, by off. that decision, but Ashley Klein, that's the decision. Felice Kalfusi has notched up 47 tackles. Darren Rooms! No, 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 good job, Dave! I've got to get to the mark and verbally and physically give it. Six and a half minutes left to play. Okay. And finally, Isaac exactly Liu well. gets a rest. Fisher Harris back onto the football field. Tries to two it is to the Jesse back Williams. in this game. Just here, Kevin. Go. Right. Oh, in comes Manu to make another back, important tackle. That time on Hunt. He's done well on that right edge to shut them down when they wanted to go to the left. Okay. Joseph Manu. Oh, you think about his learning ability too. Geez, a quick learner because Mitchell was eating them for breakfast go. in the start of this match, wasn't he? It really has been a complete turnaround. Speaking of Mitchell, look out. Okay. Is that okay? Holmes has tackled. But again, oh, yeah. Manu gets to his rooster's teammate. And Johnson oh, yeah. tidies Holmes up. Okay, what's on the ball? Several Kiwi contenders here. The player of the game, too, is Josh Ready McGuire. Moves. Takes it down to 25 out. Go for it, Marcus, good. Quick. It's where you are, Josh. Jake Trebojevic couldn't quite get the timing to Nadesco. Passes tied Andrew! beautifully to this goal would have been in Andrew! for a try. Last play of the set to Cherry Evans. Cherry Evans has it again, and it's a restart and tackle count, and it's Felisa Cafusi who's over to score the try. Okay, tackle one here, Chids. It'll be given. Try. Cafusi did well. In the field of play. 
I'm sure he was a winger back in his junior days, maybe as a kid. Australian kick chase have been doing onside from the original kick. Felice Cafusi grounds the ball in the end goal. We have a decision. Head over Beach, mate. He's, he's ready to go. That'll be his first try, Felice Cafusi, in 16 appearances for Australia. Cafusi gets the try. It's going to be taken quickly by Valentine Holmes. And he has snuck it in beautifully. 26 to 18, and it's still an eight point game. So the Australians still need to score twice. Of course, the Kiwis are in no hurry. Get a restart underway here. This was a kick from Jerry Evans. Comes off the foot of Brandon Smith and plays a little bit of ricochet. Jerry Evans picks it up and cleverly shifts it to Kabusi, who parked himself out on the wing. Pretty clever finish, too. Is it born in Auckland, of course? Watch the attack. And Australia throw it around here. Clinton. A try now would make it very interesting, wouldn't it? In this set. Clemmer. Gordner. So the Kiwis still got to still have some work to do. These next couple of sets, Maguire. The Australians are just going to throw everything at the Kiwis now. Nice read, good solid contact from Ken. Alfusi, try scorer to Maguire. Coming on these last couple of plays, something special you think. What's Hunt got up his sleeve? He's got Mitchell in space. Mitchell wrapping up beautiful offload to Holmes. Look out, the Aussies are coming. Here comes the disco, and they have got a try. A sensational score by James Tedesco. Okay, tackle six here. Just confirm that he remains in the field of play before he passes the ball. We have a try. So here's Mitchell again down the left. Watch the footwork. No Mitchell problem. Mitchell remains in the field of play and passes the ball inside to Valentine Holmes. Come around, guys. James Tedesco grounds the ball in the end goal. We have a decision. Well, it's a day for Thanks, the debutants. Try to Tedesco. Following the tries on debut for Smith and for Manu. <laughs> Holmes will convert this try. Well, that's tightened it right up now. 26 to 24. The final two minutes of this game is going to be an absolute cracker. Just watching behind the try line there as we see the replay here, the Kangaroos scoring their try to bring it back to a two-point ball game. Kevin Proctor was so animated behind the try line, laying the law down to his troops to make sure that they really concentrate on their defence for this next two minutes and 31 seconds. Do not want to blow this now, the Kiwis. 26, 24, two and a half to play. And it's Clemmer. James! He's taken out of here. Jesse! The Kangaroos have firepower all across the park. This would be some win for them if they could find something special here again. McGuire. Jake Trebojevic. Cook to Tesco. The last two tackles, they're going to cook something up here again, the Aussies. Jake Trebojevic to Hunt. Cherry Evans, this time Gangai. Last play, it's a fast play, the ball as well. No, they're kicking. 
They're going to try and force an error off the Kiwis. Ratani Zalesniak has it. Interesting that the Aussies would kick deep like that. Oh, we nearly didn't have a <laughs> dummy half. They might get one more crack. Rapana. Trying to figure out why the Aussies kicked deep on that play. Watan is Lesniak, the captain. Last 60 seconds. So the Australians are probably going to get two or three shots at it, Daryl. Johnson goes for maximum distance. Oh, it's going to go dead. They're going to go back to the 20. But the clock keeps ticking. 40 seconds. Well, the Australians look a little uncertain. Hunt wouldn't be the first choice to hit it up in those circumstances. What are the Australians going to do in these last 20 seconds? Trevojevic, marshalling players into position on the right side here. It goes to him. Cherry Evans, there's a hole. Here comes Gangai. But they've got him. This will be the last play of the game. Cherry Evans. It's now or never for Australia. Money knocks it on. It won't matter. It won't matter. It's a win to New Zealand. Well, it's been, been tough times for the Kiwis the last few years. This one is going to feel good to the men in black. The first time they've beaten Australia in three and a half years. The Kiwis get it done, 26 to 24.